Hi guys, I'm Lynx. I'm a former Elder Scrolls Online Raider, and I say former because I have since quit the game about five months ago. Now as you can see from the title of the video, I'm getting rid of everything I own in the game since I'll never be coming back to it. All of my gear that I'd spent months to years grinding for is being deconstructed and deleted, some of it deleted. And the only reason that all of it isn't just being outright deleted is because I'm giving all my materials and my gold to a friend who does still play the game from time to time. So, how did it come to this? As I said, I used to raid in ESO. I would regularly do trials content, whether it be raids, hard modes, or even trifecta runs. At my current points, I had already obtained every trial trifecta title, except for the newest one, Swashbuckler Supreme. Uh, I didn't really have a lot of time to go for that one but i had done griffin heart immortal redeemer tiktok tormentor dawnbringer godslayer planes breaker and i'd even started progressing the newest one with my team but like i said then i quit i led a lot of raids for many different servers i had done teaching runs to help new players learn how to do different pieces of content and different trials I had even tried to start up a training team that would help a number of, like, brand new players learn how to do trials content from scratch. I had tried to help provide information on what skills and gear to use for different trials and different fights, what a good raid composition looked like, how to position themselves in fights, how to do mechanics, how to keep their damage and buff outputs consistent and high. I tried to use my experience to be helpful to anyone who wanted to get into Trials content, so I was very integrated in the raiding community, and I, I did thoroughly enjoy my time there, and I enjoyed playing the game. But of course, it just didn't last. With each new update to the game, the dev team at Zenimax continued to make changes to the game that made it harder and harder to enjoy raiding. Things would break, bugs would become more prominent, and crashes would become more frequent. On top of this, combat changes were being made that would cause power creep to get out of control and make most of the earlier content, such as Cloud Res, Asylum Sanctorium, Halls of Fabrication, so on and so forth, just far too easy. Changes were made to classes and skills and gear that caused class identity to all but fall apart. There used to be an interesting distinction between magic and stamina based builds and raid compositions and that all but vanished with one of the recent updates. Every character started to basically be built the same and play the same, more or less making a lot of the game's core combat function bland and uninteresting. Despite all this, Zenimax continued to ignore player feedback, pushing the changes through anyways. They would also be introducing new sets with new dungeons that would overtake the meta that in-game players would constantly have to farm every three months, which sounds like a good thing, sounds like they're giving us new content. And the dungeon aspect of it is, you know, new dungeon. I didn't really do dungeons a lot, but a lot of people did, and you know, that's that's a good thing for them. And a lot of the new dungeons, they were, they were somewhat interesting. But the farming gear aspect was never that interesting. In practice, it just boiled down to turning your brain off and running that dungeon on normal a crazy number of times to get the pieces that you needed which would become extremely exhausting and tiring having to do this every single patch especially if it was multiple gear sets from that same dungeon it would just be extremely frustrating it wouldn't be super bad if it was like something that happened once a year but this would be something that would happen every three months and it would stall a lot of teams trial progressions it would stall a lot of teams in their raid progression because sometimes even the sets that we were using would be just significantly nerfed and a lot of raid leaders would want their people to have the new stuff so that way they would be able to push a lot more efficiently all this just resulted in a power creep that was going way uphill and there was no real turning back from it all in all though it was something that was very frustrating they refuse to address the actual issues at hand, such as the game's lack of a reward system, performance issues, power creep, and the massively inflating economy. There wasn't really much of a point in raiding for a lot of people because you didn't really get a whole lot of anything, and what you did get outside of neat titles was mediocre at best the majority of the time. There was no incentive to keep many players going or pushing for that next achievement, for that next milestone. Performance and frame rate would always consistently plummet during many fights and activities, resulting in us have to even teleport out 
of the raid and then teleport back in just to get our game working at a manageable state so that way we could actually play the game and do the content that we were wanting to do. Power creep became extremely rampant with the average player's damage output becoming so high that you could easily skip tons of mechanics that bosses and enemies would do in raids making some raids just so impossibly easy that it just turned boil down to why even learn the mechanics at that point when you can just damage burn your way through them the game's economy is in such shambles that a newer player no longer has practically any path to afford any upgrade materials to obtain obtain the necessary materials to max their gear nor do they have a way to afford the required potions to do trials content stacks of potions cost an outrageous amount and they're practically essential because without them your productivity in the raids and your damage output just goes way down it was made a little worse for a lot of players because while all these issues were present we would constantly see them pushing microtransactions giving the player base scraps while putting more or less all of the interesting stuff the game has to offer into the crown store forcing you to spend money if you wanted really anything that was cool if you wanted a cool mount there wasn't really a way to get one that was even closely comparable to the ones that they would sell on the crown store I'm not saying there's anything wrong with selling these mounts, but it becomes a problem when you put everything interesting that a player would want in something that you would have to spend money. There's no path to really earn a lot of these. There technically is, and people will use that against you. However, it's such a slow process that you're better off just spending the money. It takes forever to get to that point without spending money it would even be worse by the company taking things that you could earn through in-game means such as the mount you get for getting the god slayer title or the polymorph that you can very rarely get to drop from running veteran asylum sanctorium they would take those and they would reskin it and they would put it back, they would reskin it slightly, and they would put it back into the crown store and sell it for real money. When it comes to the newest trifecta mount even, the one for Swashbuckler Supreme, it's just a recolor of a Fire Action Arc Wolf from one of the old crown crates. Instead of being red this time, it's blue with a coral brush running over it, of, uh, over a couple parts. It's just an insultingly low effort reward for players who spend months grinding for these achievements. The final straw for me and many other players was the announcement of combat changes so drastic, which were being made in the name of improving accessibility uh, to content for most players, by the way. the These changes would have made combat not only extremely slow and boring, but also cause damage to drop considerably and make a lot of the newer content to become completely inaccessible to the majority of players who weren't in the top percentile. But how can this be when I was just saying earlier that content was too easy because of the high damage output? Well, that's because they built their new content around power creep. Now they want to nerf the power creep, but not the content making it nearly impossible to complete certain DPS checks, such as the last boss in Rock Grove, where you have to do enough damage to this boss uh, before the lava rises to get her to go up to the next floor. If you take too long, the group wipes. This is completely backwards from what they said their intentions were. Their initial response to this massive amount of community backlash a little trust would be appreciated. They asked this despite not having done anything to earn said trust from the community. They later reverted many of these changes, but only after numerous players started leaving and cancelling their ESO Plus subscriptions, and after the biggest pushback from the rating community that I have ever seen. 
This is where I and many others had quit the game. All of this really pounded into us that the developers don't care about the raiding community. They only focus on how much they can make off of loot boxes and microtransactions. They don't see players, they see wallets. And this was just in the raiding community. I haven't even talked about the absolute mess that the PvP community is in and has been in for, I think, years now. So, after all this, I had more or less resolved myself to quit. Like I said, I do have a friend who still plays, so I decided to give him all of my gold and materials. But I still decided to make this video to share my experience with others on how this game has treated myself and many others like me. And how it's actually pushed me to the point where I don't care if I lose everything in this game. Everything that I had spent months to years on, I had invested so much time into. I had put my soul into because I thoroughly loved playing this game i no longer care because of just the insane amount of tone deaf pushing that the developers have done to push raiders away it's very upsetting to me to do all this it's very deleting all my stuff and destroying all of my gear it's not something that I enjoy doing by any stretch, and in, in fact made me very sad. It made me very upset because I know that I'm never going to back, get back to those amazing times that I had with friends. So if you see this video, I, then I urge you to stay away from this game. Find another game that won't stab you in the back over 20 bucks. Enjoy yourself, and don't set yourself up for the same frustration that we have experienced. Thanks for watching.